So today is the third Sunday of the month of Baba. We are 48 days into the new year, the new Coptic year, the 18th month, the 18th day of Baba. And before we get into the, the gospel of today, it's, we always start the Sunday sermon, if you, you know, if you kind of see the pattern there, we always say today is the Sunday of, right? Or this is the, you know, so, so there's something going on, but I think we only spend the 20 minutes of the sermon on it. We don't spend, we really, um, the, the, our life on it. I feel like, you know, if we can, uh, if God or Jesus would um, liken our generation, would say, we're like a generation who would like to, um, let's say, uh, lose weight and subscribe to 10, ty 10 different types of diets. Right? So this morning I am, uh, uh, I'm doing the uh, keto fast, you know, the keto diet, and then in the afternoon I'm doing the intermittent, and then later I do the, uh, like, so the same day I'm doing all kind of diets, and then at the end of the day it's a distraction, it's not really a diet, it's, it's I'm, um, I'm not doing anything, I'm just distracted, and I'm not really uh, accomplishing what I need to accomplish. Similar to, you know, if you go to a school and you, you're studying, um, five curriculums at the same time, every day, one page from one book, one page from the other, you know. Then we, we kind of, at the end, we're not really progressing, advancing in anything. So I feel like we are doing exactly the same with our church seasons. We're doing the same with our, you know, every time there's a sermon, we listen to that sermon. And sermon is distracting another sermon. And can sermon be a distraction? It is, unfortunately. Um, and we are very professional hearers of the word, very professional speakers of the word. The word has no meaning and the word has no strength or power. And that's the, the situation, the condition of our, our, our generation is that teaching became very cheap. Right? And um, the teaching in the church used to be the authority of the Holy Spirit touching the hearts to repent and to claim the heart for the kingdom of God. That's the word of God. It's not for intellectual exercises and it's not for us to enjoy or to um, say, oh, this is an interesting topic. Oh, I like your sermon today. Oh, I hate this. You know, like when somebody, like, oh, I was very interesting today. It's not about interesting. It's not about having something new or something clever or something. It's not about that. It's the word of God is about changing us and claiming our heart into the kingdom of God. And that's it. So, there is a, 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 a mission for the church on earth to claim the kingdom of God in God's people, in, in our hearts. And our fathers, enlightened by the Holy Spirit, they put, uh, I, I don't want to call it curriculum, because curriculum is more academic uh, connotation to it, but um, they put a, a way of salvation in the Sundays, so there's, I'd say, if a curriculum were a way of salvation for us to reveal the kingdom of God that's in us. He said the kingdom of God is in you, and the kingdom of God started on the cross, his, his throne. So the, the role of the church, the mission of the church is to claim that kingdom in our heart. And that's, you know, when, when St. Anthony went to the desert, God told him, go to the desert. See, he started around the city, and then he started to cast out demons little by little from the desert. The desert the, the, even the, the devil would tell him, why are you doing here? This is, the desert is our place. And God wanted to claim Egypt and claim the world, claim the desert to become his place, not the devil's place. And that's, and we know that from the story of St. Anthony, for example, he went to the uh, destroyed temple that was like 
possessed by by, by the, and he he spent his first kind of few years there, and and all his children so claiming the kingdom of God on earth, and that's that's just one scenario, one small scenario. How would, in our in our life in our hearts it's exactly the same pattern. So what we um, we come to enjoy in our way of salvation in the church uh, is uh, a, a genius spiritual way uh, that very well established and demonstrated to create saints and to produce what it needs for the heart to become the kingdom of God. Um, so we start the year with, you know, we are 48 days into the year today. Um, and I look at myself, I say, like, uh, how, may, uh, how much did I claim? How much did I follow the way that the church has put for us? 48 days into it. Uh, the day starts with St. John the Baptist, who prepares the kingdom, who prepared the way. Um, and it ends with when we do uh, uh, the St. Mary's fast, the two weeks of the last month, two weeks of the last month of, of, of the Coptic year, we, we got to enjoy that revelation of that kingdom with St. Mary and all the saints. So it's a fast and it's joyous fast. It's so very flavor. You know, we all love the fast of St. Mary. Toward the end of the way, we celebrate uh, and we also have that no, notion of the judgment um, toward the end of the year when we prepare for the following year. And there's a, so it's a fast and a joyous fast at the same time. So it's a very beautiful system or way of, of, of revealing the kingdom of God in our heart. So this is a long intro to today's gospel, but it, I feel it's, it's very important for us to understand where we are have a, a frame of reference of where we are in the year in order to really receive uh, every week's installment of that way of salvation and for our growth, our spiritual growth. And maybe part of the stagnation in our spiritual life is that kind of syndrome of distraction. Um, too many curriculums, too many uh, um, sermons, too many... Um, diet that we, we, we follow and we don't stick to one. Um, if I would stick to one, I would stick to the genius spiritual Coptic church uh, uh, way of salvation from, from the first, uh, the beginning of the year to the end. It's amazing how the seasons of, of the church are ordered for our salvation or for our, the revelation of kingdom of God in our heart. And we're getting closer to the nativity season, Kiak, and, and it has its position. And then we get to the Great Lent, and we get to, you know, so the whole, the whole season, all the seasons of the church are stitched together in a way that it's very, very uh, spirit-driven uh, sp uh, for, for our salvation. So today's gospel is, is mainly, uh, or, or the month of Baba, the unit in this way of salvation is, um, about the, the power of God, right? The, the, the Pantocrator, the, the authority, the dominion of God over every son, there's different um, uh, perspective on the authority of God. So today is the, his authority on the devil, right? He cast out demon and, and there was a debate between the Christ and um, the Pharisees about where does he get this power and if this power is uh, um, by Belzebub or by his own authority. Um, the first two weeks of Baba were the power over uh, sin. Remember the first one with the paralytic man, the power of he, he healed them and he said, uh, your sins are forgiven. forgiven. So uh, the authority of Christ um, that we should have received two weeks ago and understood and, and dwelt in us. And we're gonna reuse that all like the rest of our life. So we, we receive it once, concentrate it, and then it gets spread the rest of our life uh, in, a, in, a, in a different depth. So the, his authority over sin, forgiving sin, uh, you would expect that to be the first one, right? Um, second one was the, um, his authority over uh, income our paycheck and being liberated from 
um, the worries of this world. Right? So he, he, he showed up at the workplace of St. Peter uh, last week and um, he told them you're gonna catch a lot of fish. He couldn't catch. So we got, we got the, um, uh, we received that gift last week of, of understanding the authority of God and, and one important thing that when we, when we say this month of Baba is the month of re revealing the authority of God, the dominion of God, is really not the dominion of God. It's actually the dominion of us over that thing too. Because God gave us that authority. So when God is, is giving us the authority over uh, sin in the first week, that means we, he, he forgives sins, and we have the, 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 the authority to, um, to be forgiven. Uh, he gave his church that authority. Um, and we have the detachment from the, 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 uh, the financial system, for example, right? Uh, last week, when uh, in the Vesper of last week, he, he told them, if you want to pay taxes, go fish, right? Uh, take that fish and take uh, the money in, in the mouth of the fish and then in the, in the morning he's talking about the catch of the fish and they let the whole catch of the fish uh, amazing catch of the fish two boats were sinking and then now he's, he's doing all that uh, uh, out of uh, God's provision not out of his own power so this is the, the detachment we are, we're getting that um, authority from God or the dominion, the power of God in our life. It's, it's great to say God is powerful. God is the Pantocrator. That's great. He is. But what does any, has anything to do with me? Because he gave his church, give his children his power. He is all powerful over the devil. What does it mean? It, it means that I am his son he gave me that dominion, that authority, that power over the devil. That's what it means. And that's what we receive every week. We, we, we come and say, God, how, how are we receiving this today? How are we, um, why we are, we feel like defeated from the world. Why we, we think that uh, the church is weaker, the world is stronger. So the month of Baba, when we get out of that month, of this month, we, we have to, uh, if we receive the, 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 the gift of God during this month, we will, we will know and we will receive that the church and our houses, our households are much more powerful than the world. And we, we see that over and over every week in, in, in the readings. So the church is, is in its... Um, normal condition is not defeated. It is uh, much stronger than the world, much stronger than the financial system, uh, much stronger than sin, and much stronger than sickness. Um, so in, in today's uh, gospel, uh, we see that he, he told them, If I, um, if I cast out demons by Belzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. By whom do your sons cast them out? Your sons here, many of the fathers is talking about, there were some casting of, of, of demons outside Jesus, right? Like the, and, uh, and Jesus gave the apostles. Your sons here could be the apostles. Um, I'm casting demon, but right, you know, during that time, Jesus gave the, this authority to his disciples to do that too. He said, if I am doing that, how they are doing it, they are your sons. And how are they doing? And they're going to become your judges. Because also, Jesus said, I give the judgment. You know, the Father give the judgment to the Son. The Son give the judgment to the church uh, for the losing and bounding all those sins. So it's important to understand that the authority of God 
is transferred. He loved to give his authority to his church, to his people, to his children. And he said, they also cast the demon with the Holy Spirit that I give them. Um, when we look at uh, the rest of the readings today, we see that uh, the book of, uh, in, in, in the Catholicon, for example, he's talking about resist the devil and he will flee from you. And the book of James uh, has a lot of other uh, very practical advices and detachment and authority that's from the past couple of weeks too. So it's got a revision in the book of James if we go back and read it through, you know, the rest of the day or the rest of the week. Uh, and in the Ebraxis, the book of Acts, it talks about, um, in Acts 15, you know, the problem when Jews uh, many of the Jews and the Pharisees converted to Christianity and they start to say in order to become a Christian, you, you need to first become a Jew and then become a Christian, right? Uh, there's no such problem today in the church. The church is full of, you know, people convert. They don't have that issue of, uh, it was settled. But why the church, our father, I wonder why our fathers put this uh, Acts chapter 15 in in today's reading and in many other times, how is relevant to us? The problem during that time um, of, uh, of the church that was settled in, 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 in Acts 15 is that there were some kind of like two classes of Christians in the early church. And they, st they start to say, oh, there's the Christian who came from um, um, Judaism, you know, and, and those are like a higher class than the Christians who came from the Gentiles and who converted. So it creates, regardless of where they came from now, that's not relevant to us, but what's relevant to us today is creating that two classes of Christianity or two classes of, 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 of uh, Christians in the church. That's what's relevant. And what to say, uh, if, you, if you go back to the book of Acts, St. Peter, when he settled this, he said, um, that God acknowledged them, God acknowledged them, acknowledged the second class Christians, mm -hmm, by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us the first class citizens, uh, and made no distinction between us and them, purifying their heart by faith. So there's no two classes of Christians, the, the Christians who can cast out demons and the Christian who can't, or the, the Christian, and I'm gonna get into that, cast out demon, you know, uh, but it's, there's no Christians who have the power of God and the Christians who don't have the power of God. You know, yeah, there are some gifts here and there, some assignments here and there, but there's no classes of Christianity. We all, as children of God, have the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. We say that every day, right, in, in the Thanksgiving prayer. He gave us to tread on serpents. He did not give few people or just the priest and the bishop and the, you know. He gave us, the Christian, it's, the, the, the authority to, to, dread, to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. Every mom, every dad has that authority to cast out the devil out of their household. And we see in the book, uh, in the Pauline today, he's talking about the household of Stephanas, the household of, you know, um, uh, Briskella and Achilla and the, the church in their house. And he's talking about many names. And you see, like the whole Pauline today is very weird. It's kind of like, uh, doesn't have really a message, except those, the names of some of those figures in the church, besides, Saint, it wasn't St. Paul, it was all his, like people who, he said, acknowledge such people, acknowledge uh, the, the church in their house. And his, as if he's also, the, 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 the theme today is that there's no classes in Christ, like there's no, there's stature, there's people who received more than the others, right? Uh, were able to receive more than the others. But there's no 
uh, 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 a principle that say you cannot receive this or you cannot do this, you cannot, you know. So we all are expected to receive the, the authority of God the Pantocrator in our life, in our heart, based on our assignment, based on, on, on what he wants us to do, based on what he would like to do today with our life. Um, everybody has his own assignment. Uh, everyone has his her own uh, uh, goal that God wants to use them in a certain way and give us the authority to do that thing. And every, there's universal things, every household, every, every dad, every mom, uh, they do have the purpose of uh, God given that assignment of uh, the, the authority to cast out the devil out of their houses uh, through fasting, through prayer, through matanias, through uh, receiving his authority in their own small circle. And then when you talk about the, the, the Sunday school servants, they have additional assignments. Uh, when you have the, the priest, have additional assignments. You have the bishop, additional. The, and, and the circle goes, grows and, go, and grows up to the, 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 the pope. Uh, and there's a lot of beautiful stuff. Um, I don't think we have time, but um, about the, in the lyrics of the church, how... For example, in one of the church books, the Defnar, uh, the Antiphori, it's, it's called the, the Pope, the persecutor of the evil spirit. The persecutor of the... So, and, and we all here as, as Christians, we are um, uh, in, in our own small little area, have the authority to tread on serpents, scorpions, and all the power of the enemy in our households, in our, uh, in our assignment, wherever we are. Uh, um, and when we are talking about today the, the, the person who was blind and mute, and, and the demon, when the demon uh, got hold of him, he made him blind and made him mute. And in, in, a, in a way that's very obvious, and once Jesus cast out the demon, he became, you know, um, he can see and he can speak and all that. And that was very evident of the miracle. Uh, and that's exactly what we, um, the type of demons that we want to cast out of our houses, cast out of our Sunday school classes, our, our church, our city, is the, the demons who makes us blind, makes us mute. Um, always the fathers, they, they look at blind, meaning that you cannot, you see, but you don't see. You see, but you don't understand. That's the blindness. If we are standing and, and reading the, the book of, of, of life, we read the Bible, we don't understand. It means that we are blind. We cannot read. If we are in the liturgy and we are, um, we cannot see heaven and earth mingling together, we are blind. Um, uh, you know, within the liturgy, Abuna is, 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 is casting out the devil uh, by going around with the Sharia. With they, they, they tell us, Abuna Bishoy Kamil, he used to, when he was doing the Sharia, it's like he has a sword in his hand, <laughs> not a Sharia. It was like he's going, like, uh, the way people looked at Abuna Bishoy, um, uh, it was, they, they got that feeling that he is, um, doing an active exorcism <laughs> in the church uh, during the, um, uh, the, the incensing, the raising of the incense. Uh, and we, we have in our rituals a lot of great things that's hidden treasures um, with the uh, destroying the walls of Jericho, for example, when Abuna goes around with the, 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 the seven times that's destroying, he, providing healing to the heart, providing, casting out the, 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 the devil, the plague uh, that's among the people. If there's a trend within the people uh, to do uh, bad sins, that gets stopped. And, and the church got the power to do that um, just by standing in the, in the liturgy, by standing here and receiving the power of uh, the Pantocrator in the church 
the power of, of the Pantocrator in our house, in our heart, to not be defeated by any sin, not be defeated by any uh, system in the world, but to receive uh, over and over and over the power of God, and we keep receiving until it's, it's, it's accomplished. Uh, until, if, if we are blind today, we're not going to be blind tomorrow or, or after. You know, um, the, the process uh, is guaranteed to, to work. Uh, as long as we are in the church and receiving and keep receiving, uh, he, like he said with the Israelites, he's not going to cast out every single demon like right away, but he takes one by one, and it takes time. But he start to 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 reign in the heart, and we start to say, in in, in non-destructed way, which one you want to cast out today, Lord? Which attachment in my heart? Which blindness? Which a part of me that need to be um, healed that you want to heal today? And we come and we keep washing, we keep receiving until he makes his reign in his revealing his kingdom year after year in the church until we reach uh, heaven with him, living forever with him. To him is glory forever. Amen. Oh.